When it comes to editing your designs, there's often a need to swiftly adjust the width or size of various elements. In AutoTrax, you can achieve this effortlessly using the middle thumb wheel on your mouse. Let me demonstrate how you can change track widths, via diameters, and pad sizes in your PCB design. Changing Track Width First, select the track you want to modify. While holding down the Shift or Control button, rotate the central thumb wheel of the mouse with the cursor over the selected track. The new track width will be displayed in the top status bar. Changing via Diameter To adjust the diameter of a via, left-click to select the via. While holding down the Shift or Control button, rotate the central thumb wheel of the mouse over the selected via. Both the via's outer diameter and the via's whole diameter will change, with the values shown in the top status bar. Changing a pad size For altering the size of a pad, use sub-picking to select the pad, as pads are part of footprints. Right-click to access the pop-up menu and select sub-pick. Left-click on the pad you want to modify. Only the individual pad will be selected, not the entire footprint. While holding down the Shift or Control button, rotate the central thumb wheel over the selected pad. Both the width and height of the pad will change, and their new values will be displayed in the top status bar. This method for adjusting widths applies to most objects in schematics, symbols, footprints, and PCB designs. Now, let's look at how you can change the width of lines and other graphical objects. Changing Line Width Select the line you wish to modify. While holding down either the Shift or Control key, rotate the middle thumb wheel of the mouse. The line width will increase or decrease, and the new width will be shown in the top status bar. Changing Dimension Lines you can also adjust the width of dimension lines in a similar manner. Select the dimension line and rotate the thumb wheel with the shift or control key pressed. Modifying Symbol Borders To change the width of a symbol's border, sub-pick the symbol's terminal magnet. Rotate the middle thumb wheel while holding down either the shift or control key. As you can see, this method provides a powerful way to quickly fine-tune your design. Practice using it on sample projects to become more proficient. Like many skills, practice makes perfect.